Good day, fellow searchers back. Do you still remember last time we said we have the arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic what? Sequence. Then we said it looks like this. Let's say if we have one somewhere here, three together with five. Then we know that this one is term one, term two, then this one is term three. Then if now we move to another concept, which is series, arithmetic series, we no longer have comma. Instead, now we have plus sign or it can be negative sign in between those somehow now we add those terms we add term one term two term three in this case how many terms do we have three terms somehow we add three terms we call it what we call it series it's when now we do what we sum the terms in this case of what of arithmetic what sequence you see then I'm going to add these three terms using different method, which is now 1 plus 3 plus 5. I'm going to write sum of 3, but write these ones in descending order. Start with 5, 3, and 1. Then let me draw a line somewhere there. And now let's add this it's like i have one somewhere here it's like i have one s sub three s sub three you see one plus one is like two s sub three you see then one plus five i get six see my get six see my get six you see there is another method of writing this 36 i can then say they wanted us to add how many times three times i can then write three then replace this by six you see now i have 36 you see instead of writing plus 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 see and then this side i'm going to have two sum of three times then now let us divide everything by 2. Then we also have our calculator if you want to. Then 3, sorry, 2. We get 9 for how many times? For 3, for three times. It's true. If I say 1, 3, 4, plus 5, I get 9. Which is our answer here. But now... We do have the arithmetic series formula, which is given by Sn, which is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. We are going to prove this formula using this method. You see, it's so simple. Check. For us to prove this formula, we just need to familiarize ourselves with this formula. We already know it, I know, from grade 11, from grade 10, you see. If I were to ask you, from this, we had three terms. But for now, because we are going to consider the variables, we are going to say, sum of n terms you see which is then going to be from this we can work out what the first term where we see and we can plug in one one minus one d one minus one is zero we are going to get only a that means our term number one is going to be what a you see then let's see for term number two if we decide to figure out term number two 
it's so simple it's like now where i see n where i see n i plug in what now i plug in two let us plug in two we are going to say now two minus one going to get one one plus one multiplied by d we get d for term number two you see it's so simple it's d then is d is d yes it's d then plus then our last term is going to be what now a plus n minus 1 d which is this formula then the term before the last one is going to be plus let me write a n minus 2 d this is going to be the term before the last let me write neatly minus 2 we have a then we have something like this you see don't forget we wrote the same thing as 3 as 3 that means we need to write as n for this one then flip it like this you see let us flip it like this then we are going to have what now a plus n minus 1 d next to this one we write this one now which is a plus n minus 2 sorry 2 d plus because we have so many terms plus then we write a plus d plus a which was this a you see at this point you can draw the line if you want to it's fine let us add now sn plus sn we get 2sn you see then let me ask you this we have a which is this a plus a plus n minus 1 d what are we going to get it's like now i add a plus a which is 2 sorry yes which is let me write here 2a you see a plus a which is going to be n minus 1 d this is what i'm going to get same applies if you add this and this to save time we are going to get the same thing if i add this which is which was this together with this we are still going to get the very same thing at this point you are going to get the same thing throughout which is 2a plus n minus 1 t you see we're going to get the same thing then look we had three terms then we replaced this plus sign with three which was this three now for this one we have n terms you see we are going to write and then replace it with just 2a and minus 1 d then we have 2 sn for us to further simplify this we can then now divide everything by 2 then which is then our formula to calculate what sum of arithmetic 
series so simple whereby n number of tens number tens where e first term d first term where d constant different constant d with you see then what else then this one is just the sum it depends on how many times you see then this is it this is it uh let us just do the application let me erase quickly let me erase quickly i won't take your time Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm almost done. Then, okay, let's go. Let's see now. Let's see if I decide to give you this series. We no longer say now the sequence. Let's say now if I decide to give you this series, which is 18. Plus thirteen plus eight. See, it continues till twentieth. Ten. You see, say twentieth tens. And then I ask you to determine the sum of this. Of this given what series. We need the formula. We can't find 20 tens for us to determine the sum of this. We just need to use the formula, which is then what? Which is then Sn over 2, 2a, n minus 1d. What do we need from this formula for us to determine what? The sum for 20 at 10, we already have n, which is 20. Do we have a? Yes, we have a, which is 18. Term 1, you see, they gave us three terms. We also have mm, a, which is 18. Do we have d? Let us find the value of d. How do we determine the value of D? It's so simple. You already know this one. We are going to say 18 minus 18. We get minus 5. 8 minus 13. We get minus. Sorry, over there. Minus 5. You see? Immediately after doing this, we know that this one is our D, this one is our A. Then we do have D now, which is minus 5. You see? We're almost done. Do we have D? Yes. Do we have N? Yes. Do we have A? N. Let us substitute. Going to say now, N for how many? 20. 20 divided by 2. 2a which is 18 plus 20n minus 1 d is negative 5 close then substitute everything on your formula then take a calculator and see what do we get 218 20, so 20 minus 1 5 get 
minus 5 minus 0 which is uh, 2018 you see it's so simple another version of this formula don't be confused we also have we know that sorry we know this formula which is 2a and so far we use this one see then this formula it can be also be written in this format if i were to split this to a going to have something which is like this n minus one d then do you see this which i put inside the bracket is going to be our sorry the light oops the last term you see we can also use this one or this or this one this one if we have the different number of terms a n but as for this one we need to have the last term of that given series do we have the last term here nope we don't have the last term we only have a but not the last term you see this is not the last term it's just t20 not sorry it's 20th term we don't know the value let me say the value of the last term we use this formula see then yeah and thank you and enjoy don't forget to do what to subscribe to subscribe